Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a great day. And in this episode, we're going to discuss Dr. Michael Burry, who is the big short investor, and he's back on Twitter to give us a warning of the potential biggest stock market bubble in history. He's the investor that predicted the 2008 financial crisis, he shorted the market right before it dropped, and made hundreds of millions of dollars. And now he came back to Twitter to send out a very, very clear message that he believes we're in one of the biggest stock market bubbles in history. And in this video, we're going to take a look at his tweets, go over his warnings and his opinion on an upcoming market crash, and take a look at the top stocks within his portfolio and Michael Burry's current positions. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm the Gen Z investor, and every single day we talk about the stock market, going over different stocks you can buy, and any major market news. So please hit that like button, subscribe for the daily videos, and of course today, we're going to focus on Michael Burry, the big short investor, and the major warning he just sent out on Twitter earlier this week. So Burry did take 10 weeks off on Twitter, he was getting in some heat with the SEC over some tweets about two and a half months ago. But now Burry just came back from his 10 week hiatus and sent out a major warning of the biggest market bubble in history. And his tweet reads, people always ask me what is going on in the markets. It is simple, greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things by two orders of magnitude, hashtag flying pigs 360. And the hashtag is likely a reference to the famous investing saying, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. And Burry has repeatedly told investors that they're being too greedy, too speculative, shouldering too much risk, and are chasing unrealistic returns. And the leader of Scion Asset Management sent out these cryptic tweets from a Twitter account under the display name Cassandra. And this is likely reference to the priestess from Greek mythology who was cursed by the gods to share only true philosophies but never believed. So this is a god in Greek mythology who shared truths, but no one took her seriously and no one believed what she had to say. So we can see that Michael Burry is showing investors right now that he's sharing his true opinion about the market. He believes we're entering in one of the biggest bubbles in market history and no one is believing him. So this was the new tweet sent out by the big short investor Michael Burry. And recently, he was also in headlines after he announced a $530 million short position against Tesla. And the bet against the largest electric vehicle company in the world has now become the number one position in Scion Asset Management's overall portfolio. So Burry is betting on the short-term fall of Tesla's share price, and the company has had slumping sales in China to start 2021, and shortages of parts have impacted production in both the United States and China as well. And we can see throughout 2021, Tesla is on a downward trend, and Burry is hoping that continues to make money off of his short position. And he's mentioned in a tweet earlier, before he took his 10-week hiatus, that he believes Tesla's reliance on regulatory credits to generate profits is a major red flag. As more automakers begin producing battery electric vehicles on their own, there's going to be a decrease in demand to actually purchase these credits from Tesla, which will really hurt the company's number one profit generating activity and to Burry, he believes that will lead to a short term price volatility in the stock and lead to an overall decline and he will make a killing off of his Tesla short position. So over the next few quarters, we're going to follow along with Tesla's price movement to see if Burry's half a billion dollar bet was right for the famous big short investor. And now we're going to take a look at the top holdings in his overall portfolio for Scion Asset Management. So we can see this is run by Dr. Michael J. Burry. He is the hedge fund leader and some of his top buys from his latest 13F filing that was as of March 31st, 2021. So this is a while ago. We can see the largest buys include the put options on Tesla, which is his short position worth around $530 million. And the second largest position was his short position on an iShares 20 year treasury bond ETF. So ticker TLT is an ETF that tracks the value and the performance of the long-term 20 plus year treasury bonds. So Burry took a short position against this ETF, meaning he believes the value of the bonds is going to fall over the shorter term. And when do bond values fall? When interest rates go up. And when will the Fed raise interest rates? When they account for the inflation that's happening in the world today. So to fight back against inflation, the Fed will raise interest rates, leading to bond values to decline, which will allow Michael Burry to make a killing off of his short position on ticker TLT. 
and we can see the total value of this position is right around $171 million, making up 12.67% of his overall portfolio. So it's very clear that Burry is betting on big inflation throughout 2021, he believes inflation is here to stay, and he's not the only financial genius to believe in key inflation happening right now. The CEO of JP Morgan Chase believes there's a very good chance that inflation is here to stay. He does not believe it's short-lived, he believes the inflation we're seeing right now between 4 and 5% is long-term, it's customary to our society going forward, and will not go down after the economy continues to recover. So two major financial minds, including JP Morgan and Michael Burry, both believe major inflation is here, and when that happens, it's very likely the Fed will raise rates going forward, and if that does happen, the value of the long-term treasury bonds will fall, and Michael Burry's short position will see some incredible returns. So it is now the second largest position in his Scion Asset Management portfolio, worth around $171 million. So overall, we can get a clear picture of what Michael Burry believes is going to happen in the stock market going forward, and of course he has sent out very clear tweets that he believes we're in a major market bubble, but his actual holdings in his portfolio show the same thing. He's betting on the decline of Tesla's share price, and already Tesla is one of the more volatile companies in the S&P 500, so once the broader index starts to fall, I think Tesla will be more volatile and see a greater decline than the overall market. And of course, he is shorting the long-term treasury bonds, meaning he's betting on high inflation, which will force the Fed to raise rates, leading to bond values to fall, and of course, a short position, raking in the profits. So we can see 50% of his portfolio is allocated to those two positions overall. Then following that, we can see he has two call options on Google and Facebook. So these are two tech giants that he actually is going to appreciate in value, even though he's betting on an overall decline in the market. So my perspective on this, of course, I'm not Michael Burry, I'm not a financial genius, I don't understand the market the way he does. My thought on this is that when interest rates rise, it's usually bad for tech companies because these are the ones who are unprofitable and have to use debt to grow their business. But taking a look at Google and Facebook, these companies are already so large, highly profitable, have so much cash on the balance sheet, both of these companies are not using debt in order to grow the business. They generate tens of billions of dollars per year in free cash flow and do not rely on outside financing in order to continue to expand. And both of these companies are currently sitting on massive cash piles. Jumping into Facebook's balance sheet, they currently have more than $64 billion of cash sitting there ready to use. And if we take a look at Google, they have over $135 billion of cash on the balance sheet. So two companies with very low debt levels, a ton of cash, and I think they'll be able to weather any economic storm very, very well. And why I think he chose these two tech companies, because there are a lot of profitable ones with great cash flow in the industry, is because both Facebook and Google generate a majority of their revenue through advertising. And I think Burry's betting on the fact that a lot of big consumer brands that he also has in his portfolio and is betting on throughout the crash which include, for example, Kraft Heinz, as well as CVS. He has call options on both of those companies, meaning he believes they're going to go through this pandemic-ridden crash and the market bubble very well, because those are brands that have pricing control. Even if we see increased inflation, they can pass along that price into the end customer and still continue to operate, and inflation will not drastically destroy their business. Some consumer companies will see inflation and do very poorly. But Burry picked two in his portfolio, which include, of course, CVS and Kraft Heinz, that he thinks have the pricing control to pass that inflation down the line to the end user and still maintain margins and profitability throughout the time of increased rates. And of course, as the consumer companies who do have pricing control have the power to pass it on to the end user and still maintain their margins, that will also lead to increased advertising spending during the tough time. And where do you go when you have to advertise? Of course, for many companies, it's Facebook and Google in our digital age. So Burry's making a bet. He has four call options on two tech giants, including Google and Facebook. He also has some call options on Kraft Heinz and CVS, two major consumer companies who do have some pricing control in their individual market. So overall, those were some of the top holdings within the big short investors current portfolio. I want to remind you that these are as of March 31st, 2021, so it has been close to three months from this, and we won't get his next 13F filing for a few more weeks. So right now, after his cryptic tweet that he just sent out this week, warning of the biggest stock market bubble in history, 
these are the holdings that we know of most recently within his Scion asset management portfolio. So very clearly, like we've already discussed throughout the video, Burry is back. He's warning investors of a major market bubble right now. He believes the overall market is being too greedy, too speculative, and chasing unrealistic returns. He began sending out warnings 10 weeks ago on Twitter, and now he's back after a brief hiatus, reiterating that same message. So we're going to have to follow along with the overall markets to see if Burby was right once again, and if the big short investor can do it twice in his investment career. And of course, he has over half a billion dollars shorting Tesla and the overall bond index. So we're going to have to see what happens going forward with the future of interest rates from the Fed and the overall volatility of the entire market. So definitely a very interesting financial genius to follow along with. And I'm really looking forward to his next 13F filing to see what his portfolio is built up as, as of June 30th, 2021. So thank you for watching this video to the end. We're going to wrap it up. We already know what we went over today. Michael Burry and his major warnings of upcoming stock market crashes. And we'll take a look on what happens going forward. And I will give you any updates on future positions once we know more. So thank you for watching to the end. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you in tomorrow's video.